Columbia, you might start seeing goats helping maintain vegetation. Today, the Health, Social and Environmental Affairs Committee discussed changing a livestock ordinance to allow goat scaping in the capital city. News 19 Sam Perez has the story. I'd like for this to attract bees and butterflies. So the no chemical part was very important to me. It's why Columbia resident Mary Green Brush hired goats to clear out the vegetation this past spring. They love reaching up into the trees and over about three days, the goats had all of this cleared to the ground. More residents like Brush might have access to this service now that a committee is working to develop guidelines for goatscaping. We are proposing structured guidelines through an ordinance for this practice, and that would include a permit process issued to the homeowner with a permit fee. Victoria Riles is the superintendent of Columbia Animal Services and presented ideas to the committee on Tuesday alongside Jacob Porter with Green Goat Land Management. Columbia wants to be innovative. Columbia wants to be green. Columbia wants to be pro-business. I want to help them do that in a way that satisfies their needs to be protective of their environment and protective of the people, but at the same time allow business to business. Which entails creating a separate permit, one for homeowners and one for commercial property owners. It also aims to address nuisance issues that set parameters for topics like fencing signage and proximity to schools to address concerns from residents like Vivian Nelson, who does not want goats in her neighborhood. They don't make the yard look any better. They might, you know, eat the grass and keep the grass down, but when it comes to edging and cutting hedges and things like that, goats can't do that. In addition to the land, Nelson is concerned about the electric fence that Porter puts up to keep the goats in place. Which is why Assistant City Manager Clint Sheely is working with a committee to establish the guidelines. Putting parameters around how this is done, I think will we'll certainly take into account the objections that were presented at the last council meeting and any other objections that we might foresee. Reporting in Columbia, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Well, Sheely says council will vote on this ordinance change next month, and then if it's approved, the permit will have 90 days before it goes into effect, leaving the committee time to continue creating guidelines.